OK, this is a big time. If you're a rugby fan, it's the start of the Rugby World Cup. Now, the initial matches have been pretty exciting. There'll probably be a few um, one-sided ones, but for us rugby fans, it's uh, some great matches to look forward to. Right, but one of the problems many of us have is if you travel a lot or you're outside your main country, and particularly if you're in a place that doesn't really go for rugby, it can be difficult to find somewhere to watch it. Now, I in the UK at the moment, um, the broadcasting rights are held by ITV, which is the largest commercial station. Unfortunately, the ITV broadcasts everything online and archive it for up to two months on something called the ITV Hub. Which is great because you get quality coverage. What's not so great is the ITV and ITV Hub are not available outside the United Kingdom. Basically, ITV website will check where you, your location from your IP address. So if you're in the, outside the UK, it just won't work. Okay, but I'm going to show you how you can watch this um, quite easily by using something called a VPN. Now, a VPN will just change your IP address at will. So let me just show you the one I use. It's called NordVPN. You might have seen it advertised. It's one of the biggest ones. I use it primarily to access the BBC and main, most of the UK channels, but for ITV in this situation. Now, here's the little um, interface you get with uh, Nord. Um, you also, if you install the version for a smartphone or different devices for Chromebooks and tablets and stuff, they all come down, they've all got a very similar feel to it. They'll get this little map here. So what you will need to do if you're outside the UK is go and find the UK and click on a UK server. So we're clicking on the UK server now, and then it, Nord will go out and find the quickest UK best server uh, based on your current location. OK, so it'll basically test a few servers and find out which is the fastest for you. This takes uh, um, a minute or two especially if you're um, a long way from the UK. So it, it tries out. There are hundreds of servers, but it's worth letting it check. And here you can see it's connected to a, um, a server in the United Kingdom. So now it doesn't matter where I am if I minimize this. Remember that works on my phone or tablet or anywhere. Uh, according, it will make me look as if I'm in the UK. So I could go to the ITV hub. or the, the ITV website rather. Let me just, oops. And you can see here's the ITV website here. Now let's, we're interested in rugby. Let's have a look at what the new episode is. There's nothing live. England played this morning. And you can see the England game is already on the archive. It's uh, two hours. It's got, it'll be on there for two months. And you can see all the other matches and the opening ceremony are listed there as well. So let's try and stream. Remember, this is a commercial radio sta uh, TV station, so you do get adverts with this one. So uh, if we want to play the video, we just click here. Now the ITV will look at my IP address, see the, the VPN IP address, and presume I'm in the United Kingdom, which I'm not. And it'll work perfectly. And then you can watch. Here, let me just uh, maximize it. You can stream it through, this is the archive obviously, um, and watch whatever you like. And there's all the other shows, and they work perfectly. Just pause that. Say so you'll see in the, um, the timeline there for ITV, they put the commercial breaks. So you'll be able to watch the game without interruptions, only at half time and after. And then it'll put commercial breaks there. You can upgrade the, the your account to go for ad free. I think you pay a, a few pounds uh, um, a month to upgrade for that uh, you need to register and um, create an account but don't worry about that but do it while you've got your VPN enabled so make sure you connect to a UK VPN and then create the account there's no problem with that uh, just to show you one little thing um, with Nord uh, there are lots of other VPNs but this is one that I've been using because it's um, pretty cheap if you if you get one of their longer deals is um, look for, don't always pick the one, the auto connect one. Um, you can search there and browse through different servers. So if you put in United Kingdom, I think, uh, you can browse through different servers. There, there are literally hundreds of them. 
and um, sometimes the auto connect one can be a bit slow I find it seems to dump everybody on the same one so you can pick any of these servers and just grab one if you find one's a bit slow go and connect to something else um, generally you'll most of them are pretty fast though so and just uh, minimize it and then you can go back to um, streaming the video as you like and enjoy the rugby world cup so and um, hopefully one of the home nations will come good okay well thanks for watching and I'll finish this video now Goodbye.